I've never really struggled with my mental health before. I've always been a very heartless kind of girl, not really really cared to be fair about anything. You with Grace, love you, love you too. And here is a picture of me and Grace. This is the most recent picture we have. By the way, update, people thought we broke up the other day. Arsenal versus Bournemouth, late goal. Here's a video for you guys. But this was the atmosphere. It was absolutely crazy. And I have been waiting for the moment to come when I can finally show you. It's getting closer to me. Oh, let's take that hair out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another sit down video as I haven't really had time um, or actually been around because I've been so ill to actually be able to get up, go do challenges and things like that. But don't worry there will be better and funner videos coming very very soon but i thought i'd do a show me a photo of kind of what well, we're now three months into 2023 which is just mental like crazy and i thought why not let's do like a kind of rewind of the past three months maybe we can make this every three months we do like a, a kind of rewind on the month we've or the three months we've had so first of all i've just got quite a few different different things but some of these are from summer but i can't lie i forgot halfway through starting off you in summer this was me on the first day of spain looking quite fit i mean i had freckles and a tan and everything then and i'm now a pal girl but i'm going on holiday hopefully very soon so fingers crossed i won't be pal anymore and i'll actually i'll actually have a bit of color on my face yeah there was me first day of spain before i was going for a meal that night with my friends and yeah i really really like that bikini i was wearing the other day you with grace love you love you too and here is a picture of me and grace this is the most recent picture we have i mean this is us midway laughing but i thought it was quite cute it was really nice to catch up with her again actually because i feel like i haven't really spoke to grace in quite a while i feel like with the uk youngers like we all grew up and kind of separated because everyone made friends properly like because we was all in lockdown when we became friends we had to make actual properly school friends when we went back to school so we ended up all just kind of really drifting but it was really nice to see her the other day and like catch up with her again obviously like i love grace i love her family i think they're all really lovely oh just caught my piercing got a new earring in three weeks early but it's fine you and your boyfriend i found this picture of us that i don't think i've ever posted but yeah that was us after the shoot i done Look, not up. sorry just got a delivery because it's kind of cold oh thank you no problem little got a cup of tea little cutie a bit, mate. Bye, mate. Love you. Love you. I don't know how long these have been in here, but I remember I had a cup of tea. And I've got biscuits that are melting, but if we just hold it from there. I'm going to eat my biscuits in my tea. So, yeah, that was a picture of me and my boyfriend after the Manchester shoot i done at PLT. Who was an absolute star that day. I'm going to see credits to him. I don't know how we stayed occupied. I would have got so bored. I wish I could show you his face sometimes because, like, I've got some really, really cute pictures of him when I was at the Pretty Little Thing shoot. Of him sitting there like this, just looking at me. <laughs> he's so cute and he's so supportive of it all. But, yeah, that's, that's me and him many more to come don't you worry and yeah by the way update people thought we broke up the other day we didn't break up we're still together we ain't we ain't doing that i'm trying to drink this quick when you were at your lowest and nobody knew here's one that i found this was actually me in november so a bit of a backstory i i think i spoke about this quite recently actually but i got put on a um on some medication that is known for actually giving people depression and anxiety quite bad so i've never really struggled with my mental health before i've always been a very heartless kind of girl not really really cared to be fair about anything and i got put on this medication and honestly life changed like I was so down all the time. I kept crying for stupid things. I had like really bad thoughts that like weren't normal for me. Um, I wasn't eating anywhere near as much as I should have. Like I was just in a really bad way and I did not stop crying for weeks on end. I was so unbelievably moody. It's a joke. Like I just, I was arguing with absolutely everyone, including my family and like it was really bad. But I'm currently out of that now and I've been put onto another one and it's better. Someone said you at your happiest. 
out of these three months i'd say i was the happiest in half term um here's me and my boyfriend i was turning around to show the plc and he just like started covering me up but i was like that week was really good i got to do a lot of cool things and also spending the weekend with like, i spent the weekend with like my mum my sister and my boyfriend and it was really fun it was really good to be fair so yeah your fave concert pick i picked this one it wasn't really a concert it was more of like a well it was a concert really but it was just tons of different singers it was jingle bell ball with my best friend scarlet it's a really cute picture and it was when coldplay was performing so all the lights was on it was just really nice someone said your favorite be real now i pick this one only because i feel like it's really like funny seeing us all back together like i don't know it's definitely my favorite one this three months obviously like it's just i don't know is it the word nostalgic like i just i see us all together and it's like back to the old days like it's really cute yeah, i love all of them girls with my whole heart like they're all so lovely and obviously harrison too <laughs> harrison you can't miss harrison someone said you sleeping this was me on the way to my base meet and greet um yeah i look like a blob of fish that's the best way to describe it. And then Arsenal versus Bournemouth, late goal. Here's a video for you guys. But this was the atmosphere. It was absolutely crazy. <laughs> I was on at the edge of my seat that whole game because for me, like going to that game, I weren't really in the best mood to be fair on Saturday. I don't even know why. I just think I was really tired. But no, I went to that game and I was like, oh, we're going to win easy. It'll be fine. Then when we went 1-0 down, I was like, crap. Everyone around was like, oh no, I'll be all right. Got to about 20 minutes in, the whole atmosphere is just like really eerie. Like we're trying to sing, but we're also like, why haven't we scored? Um, but I feel like with Arsenal at the moment, like we keep crossing the ball over the box and no one was scoring and it was so frustrating. And I said to my, because my dad didn't go, but my dad's friends was there. And I said to them, I said, I think this is going to be like the Wolves game. And in one of the old um, Arsenal games, it was against Wolves at our Emirates. Um, Pepe came on and scored the final goal to win, but we was losing the whole game. And I said, I bet it's going to be like that. He was losing up until like the 78th, 78, 78th, 80th minute. And then we ended up scoring two goals. Was it two? Three. Did we, sc we scored three goals. It was mental. The whole atmosphere was unbelievable. It was definitely one of the best games I've ever been to that hasn't been like a London derby or like Man City game or something like that. It was just, it was so good. And for the people that was like, oh, you're being so dramatic, it's Bournemouth. Yeah, but we knew that go down and then you come back with that kind of comeback. Don't matter what team it is, no matter if it's Liverpool, Bournemouth, Tottenham, you're gonna, you're gonna react like that, I'm sorry. Okay, I need to find a few more. I'm gonna find a few more and I'll be back. It's filmed a whole end to this video and it has completely deleted on me. But just a quick, we'll just do like two more that I done because I done a whole thing. We had like seven minutes of footage and it's all just completely deleted and it's getting so late. But I just took my mascara off on camera. It's really annoyed me okay so someone said your favorite outfit so basically guys i done a photo shoot with pretty little thing and i have been waiting for the moment to come when i can finally show you the pictures and the moment has came it is going to be tomorrow you will be able to see all the pictures on the website i'll be posting make sure to give oh no tomorrow it's today for you guys so it would have been tonight you can look on the plt website and i will be featured on there and also you can literally just find tons of pictures of me floating around the website um but yeah please make sure to give me some love on my insta post if you comment i'm from youtube then you'll get a follow back but yeah i'm so excited oh, i'm just forever grateful like i would not be where i am without you guys but yeah just a quick one your favorite outfit has to be this one that i was wearing this day it was so nice and then someone says something small that made you happy so my boyfriend actually got me some flowers he got me two different bouquet of roses and it was so cute and it's only a small little gesture to some people but i think that's like a really big one in my opinion i think that's adorable 
But yeah, I actually like adore him. He's so sweet. Another one, your favourite makeup, I would have to say also as the PLT shoe. But if you want to see that picture, then you can go on my Instagram as I'm posting a different one to the one I just showed you guys. You and your shoots. Here is a video of me in my shoots. It's only a three second one. I think it's so cute. What a day that was, honestly. Biggest accomplishment, probably ever this month and then someone said you uh, your latest festival you went to and i just found this video which is just a cute little one from me at sundown comment down below if any of you guys are going sundown this year i hopefully will be make sure you dm them and just say i want amy charlize to be there we need to make sure they invite me but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did please make sure to go check out pretty little things website and you can see me on there and if you do shop anything then make sure to go through the links that i'll be posting on my story tomorrow love you all